Welcome. I'm Juan P. Luria, president of Luria Fine Arts. Many of you probably know me by now. Um, today, I would like to discuss one of the most uh, really intimate and uh, most endearing and, and most um, approachable art forms that really took off in the 18th century, although it existed since literally biblical times, and that is the terracotta sculptures. Uh, terracotta is, of course, a, a clay-based earthenware, and it was often produced glazed or unglazed. Uh, the Romans used it for objects of daily utility. Uh, many times uh, markets are flooded with uh, mass-produced examples uh, in Roman times of oil lamps, which were usually made of terracotta for middle-class consumers. In the 18th century, this really became a popular sculpture form for small domestic sculptures in French interiors. And the great artist of the time who did them was, of course, Clodion, uh, many of whose examples you can see in the Frick Museum and the Metropolitan Museum. In fact, uh, for a reading recommendation, I recommend, if you want to learn about terracotta sculptures, this fantastic catalog to accompany an exhibition at the Met, Playing with Fire. Uh, it's still available and can be bought in the Metropolitan Museum uh, bookstore in New York. I highly recommend it. And I'd like to show you some examples which two dealers were kind enough to loan me to share with you. And here is a pair of um, a, a sculptural group of two uh, putti reclining, we believe based on a model by the uh, Flemish master uh, François Duquesnoy. And this uh, particular uh, pair is interesting because the originals in the 17th century would have probably been made in bronze, maybe marble. But in the 18th century, uh, earlier sculptures uh, of great Baroque masters would be copied for domestic decoration on an intimate scale in terracotta. And here you have these two examples, which date from the French 18th century. I mean, lovely reclining putti. Uh, here you have one with a particularly beautifully detailed uh, dove, I believe. Now, in the 19th century, the art continues. And I'd like to share with you two very interesting examples. And this is one pair of terracotta sculptures, which I'm going to share with you. And these were produced commercially as copies of 18th century sculptures after the greatest portrait bust sculpture of the time, uh, Oudon. And these are well-known images to lovers of the 18th century. Uh, this, of course, is Jean-Jacques Rousseau, uh, and this, of course, was uh, Voltaire. And these two were, again, decorative, commercially produced, and I say commercially not in the 20th century or 21st century sense, but in the 19th century sense, in which artisans did uh, sculpt these uh, and hand uh, execute them. And uh, this one is particularly interesting, this one of Rousseau, because it has an original label, and the label is from a shop in the Palais Royal in Paris. I don't know if you see it there closely. And uh, that is, of course, very, very revealing because we know it came from the most famous arcade of, um, uh, of Paris uh, for retail shops and luxury shops. And these two, again, are good examples of nice 19th century, well-executed terracotta figures. Another 19th century example I'd like to share with you is this one, which is very heavy. And this is an original work of 19th century art uh, by one of the great sculptors of the 19th century, uh, Carrier Belleuse. Carrier Belleuse is not well known outside, of, of course, of a circle of art lovers or people who specialize in the French 19th century. But Carrier Belleuse was a master sculptor who was well known for working often in terracotta. He made great public commissions, but he loved working in terracotta sculpture. And this is an original signed by him on the back. I'll even reverse it, and you can see his signature here. And uh, this sculpture is called La Source. It's an allegory of the source of water, with two uh, putti flanking an urn, which is spilling and providing water. And this is very interesting because, of course, it's done in a style which clearly plays tribute to the 18th century, the great age of terracotta sculpture. And uh, Carrier Belleuse was an exuberant Beaux-Arts sculptor who loved the 18th century and interpreted it with a slightly Beaux-Arts uh, look that you would see in public uh, monuments that he also designed. By the way, Carrier Belleuse is noteworthy because he was also the master who taught uh, the great giant of the period, Rodin.
So here we've seen three lovely examples of terracotta sculptures, which I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching. Uh, many thanks to two dealers who kindly loaned these to me. And uh, I really encourage any collector interested in fine French objects to look into terracotta because like so many things today uh, in this world which is, seems to be seized with a craze for 20th century design these lovely objects of the 18th and 19th century are much undervalued much overlooked and available for the collector who doesn't care so much about being trendy but who wants beautiful design and good quality at an affordable price I recommend it highly thank you very much I look forward to seeing you at the next installment